interested. What have you What have you been working on? What are you trying to get better at this summer? Um, working mostly on my shot from the perimeter. You know, trying to be able to spin the floor. I see the game's changing, so I got to change myself. When we talked to Coach Holtman and. Uh, I think it was like April, he had talked about wanting to see you become maybe a little bit more versatile. Is that out of a conversation with, with Coach that you wanted to try to expand that in your game? Oh, uh, yes, it, it helped a lot. You know, also, I seen in the draft, a lot of guys like me weren't getting picked. So I noticed that uh, I didn't have to change myself or I'm not going to be able to get there. So I'm trying to work on my guard skills, get a perimeter shot, and even still working on my stuff in the post. When you talk about guys that didn't get drafted, who do you look at or who do you think, who do you compare yourself to in that category? Oh, no, I was just saying, like, I was watching the draft. I didn't see anybody who was 6'10", 270, just a low-blow scorer. That's all I mean. I mean, they were great players getting drafted. So what was that like then, to sit and watch that and to think that you needed to do something differently? Oh, it was it was actually a lot of motivation. You know, I, I thought that just that one aspect of my game would get me there. But obviously, I, I, I had a mis, miscued way of thinking. And um, Coach has talked a lot about um, becoming more of an explosive player, too. How do you work on something like that? Um, just a lot of work with Q, the strength and conditioning coach, you know, a lot of squats, a lot of banded stuff, just working on the explosion. If you are a more explosive player, how does that help your game? Uh, it helps me tremendously as far as rebounding goes and even just being able to carve out more space, just getting my legs stronger, period. Could we see you dunk more? <laughs> yeah, for sure. What, what would that do? You talk about becoming a more versatile player, but if you're more aggressive and more explosive around the rim, how would that impact your game overall? Uh, also, I feel like it expands my game more. You know, like I didn't catch, I don't think I, I didn't catch any hoops this year. <laughs> so, but I see a lot of, like picking rolls and stuff. A lot of point guards are throwing hoops to me, so off the big rolls instead of just bounce passes. So. I'm wondering if you had a like a weight loss goal in mind. Everyone knows about the weight you shed from high school coming into college, but from you know, last season to this season, was there a number goal? Because you, yeah. you, look, you look good, by the way. You, you look like you've lost some. Yeah, I'm trying to get closer to 250, 255, something like that. Area. What were you playing at last last year? Uh, I finished the season at 289 last year. That's a lot. Yeah. Is, what were we, like 21 minutes a game or something? Yeah, 20, about 20 minutes a game. Is that also something that you've been looking at? Like, I, I don't want to be a guy that can be game planned around, that can oh, be yeah. taken out of a game if someone wants to go small ball on yeah. us. Yeah, that kind of uh, that kind of hurt my hurt my pride a little bit last year. It felt like the not being able to guard some of the smaller guys, perimeter guys that helped me back from playing in the games. Is that something where it's been more than just like the diet and exercise? Is is there been something with your defense on that, or do you yeah, feel you know, do you feel uh, good enough about that? In uh, open gym and stuff, I'm trying to switch more instead of just staying with the big. So I have to stay in front of that guard for two, three dribbles, like they have to in the NBA. Uh, you got to hear, I guess, from Brenda Tracy yesterday. What, what did you take out of that experience? What, did, what resonated with you? Um, what resonated the most is that just her, uh, her sons are our age. So I never really, like, I hear the stories on the news and everything, and I always, I always listen and always hear it, but I never really put it in perspective like it's my family. Like, what if that happened to my mom, my cousin, my sister? Like, I just never thought about it like that. So that really was an eye-opening experience for me. Did you guys talk amongst yourselves after you heard from her? Yeah, we talked a little bit, even today, with the uh, strength coach. And we were just talking about how everybody was just, like, treat everybody how it is, because, I mean, how you, how you should be, how you would want to be treated in that situation. Your brother said that uh, he's been helping you with your weight loss. How true is that? And does he cook a grilled cheese as good as he claims it is? <laughs> Nah, Drake can cook a grilled cheese. I don't know about anything else, though. But, yeah, he definitely helps. You know, when we go out, he tells me, he always puts things in my head what I should get and what I should not get. He said growing up, playing against you forced him to learn to play bigger than he was. Mm -hmm. What did you take from facing him growing up? Uh, just being able to, I feel like guarding the perimeter is good. I had, I didn't grow up. In Westerville, there was no bigs. Like, there's no bigs in Westerville. So I had to guard guards all through high school, all through middle school, and I feel like that helped a lot. Caleb, you were talking a little bit about kind of the versatility needed, especially to get to the next level and to be successful at the next level. Did you kind of, I mean, was it before the draft that you saw that, or was that kind of
kind of something you had been working on throughout the off season, or uh, just working on throughout throughout the off season. But watching the draft really like concreted it for me to where like that that part of the game is not there anymore. You know, you have to expand your game to be able to play all three levels at one point. Is it so? Is it primarily? go into switching on guards or is it more of an offensive approach to in terms of maybe jump shot and uh, going farther back yeah as well? i feel like it's both you know a lot of the bigs now um they switch so like you watch the nba finals there was everybody was just switching because the shooting ability of everybody else and just the all-out skill of everybody else i feel like the bigs have to stay with a guard for at least five dribbles or like the rest of the possession so is there anybody in particular you've been working on that with in practice, like trying to emulate someone like in Ohio State's locker room? or uh, Not emulate, but I feel like just being able, I try to guard like our quicker guards like CJ, Dwayne. I even try to play one-on-one -on -one with Andre a lot. You've had some pretty well-known former Ohio State big guys around for the, the basketball tournament. You pick any of their brains about what it would take to, to play at that level or what yeah, you need I to do? Talk to, uh, I talked to Jared a lot about about what he experienced and what, what it looks like now, even overseas sometimes. I know when you got here, there were a lot of the comparisons to Jared in a lot of ways. Have, have, how much have you heard that, or how much has that been a part of, of maybe the player you've become, looking at him and, and watching him a little? He, he reminds me of that every single time I see him, actually, <laughs> that, that he's, I'm a baby Sully. And I, <laughs> he even calls me his son sometimes. but. Yeah, I just hear that a lot, and I have no problem with it. I mean, he had a great career here. He was in the league. He's even overseas making a lot of money. Like, I have no problem with people saying I'm like him. Uh, what have these practices been like? The, the chance to get some time together before you guys go to Spain. Um, what has this given you guys so far? I know Coach said it's not really like going to be practice will be like in the fall, but mm -hmm. to have these reps together and to get to see some of these young guys, what has this been like for you so far? Uh, I feel like it gives us a head start. You know, a lot of new guys. So last year we just. It was just a lot of open gym at this time of the year, so now it's more structure and get to know what people are really going to do in the games instead of just open gym, just shooting shots, and running up and down. What can you actually work on right now? Um, right now, right now we're really just on focusing on scheme instead of just exact plays and exact positions. You know, we're working a lot of defensive like swipes and stuff and stuff like that. What have you seen from from Jay? Uh, Jay Don? Yeah. He's a great rebounder. That man's a supreme athlete. <laughs> He's an elite athlete. He's strong as an ox, too. Now, you spent a lot of time last year, obviously, playing with Kata at the four. And that's a big position where you guys are going to have to replace a lot this year. And we, you know, Jay could maybe do that. Maybe you see Kyle there. There's, what have you seen in these practices and in open gyms as far as having to work with guys who are going to have to replace Kata? Um, I feel like it's, it's definitely going to be a big step up for our returning guys, you know, like Kyle and even Jay. Jay can step into that position too, but I feel like it's just that much scoring that we're losing. I feel like everybody else just has to step up and step into their role. Just assuming that you, like being a team-oriented guy, team goals are all going to be, you know, way up there. But for you personally, based on what you were for the team last year, what are they? Are you thinking about lead the team, like be the best player on the team, or is it shoot for bigger, like Big Ten, national type of stuff? Where um, are we going? I mean, that's definitely the goal is to be is to be known nationally. But at the end of the day, like you said, it's, it's all about the team. You know, I'm trying, we're trying to win the national championship. We're not really looking for an individual accolades right now. But yeah, I'd like to be I'd like to be recognized as as a top big in the nation. You feel that this this is your year coming up? Uh, I just, yeah, I mean, as much as I've worked in the, in the gym and everything, I feel like things are going to fall into place if it's not this year, it's next year and year after that. What uh, He was talking about Jaden Ledee, the, the other uh, freshman a lot of people are talking about is Luther, the uh, guard out of New Jersey. What, what can you tell us about him, his instincts, his toughness? So what are we getting with him? Yeah, right there you said it, toughness, instincts, his defensive IQ is great. You know, he gives 100% effort every time he steps out on the court in between those lines, and that's what we really need right now. You were a little, talking a little bit about how this may be, you might feel this is your year, but do you feel like with all the players that have lost, you were talking about Kata and uh, JT and all them, do you feel like a lot of that offensive, like the offensive, offense that was lost is that on are you feeling it on your shoulders or are you feeling it like um, the pressure to make that up 
I don't I don't feel like the scoring is on my shoulders. I feel like I've always been somebody who just I'm just gonna do my job. You know, I'm not gonna try to force a shot up. If it's not there, I'm gonna look for the open man. So I feel like as far as scoring goes, I mean we're just gonna spread it out. I mean if it's not one person, it's gonna be three or four people. We got to see your itinerary for Spain the other day and it looks like there's a lot of great stuff on there other than the basketball. What is it that you're most looking forward to? Um, I don't know what exactly it's called, but it's a church that they've like they never stopped getting built. I mean Andre really talking about that. Like we always see it on like movies and like little commercials and stuff, but I just really want to see it in person, like how crazy it is. What do you hope to get out of that trip other than because this is a given. The thing that everyone says is that you're going to get team chemistry, spending time together. What can you get out of this trip on top of that? Um, I feel like a lot of our guys, I don't know who's been out of the country, but I feel like that in itself is just getting out of the country, seeing different cultures of people and all that. I feel like that's going to be really exciting. Do you speak any Spanish? Uh, no habla espanol. No, do you do any of your teammates that you know of? Uh, not that I know of, no. Did you even have a passport before this year? Yeah, I did actually, because um, I had I got I tried out for the junior national team my sophomore year, and we were supposed to go over there. Have you ever been out of the country then? No, never no. been out of the country. It's going to be exciting. Uh, when we talked to your brother a couple weeks ago, I was asking him about when you're a recruit and you come here and you get to play in an open gym type of setting. Uh, what he said he got to do some of that because you were you were already doing some of that what what is that like when you come in as a recruit and you get to play against these guys and against former guys what is that like well when I was doing it it was a lot of it was a lot of a learning process you know you're slower than everybody else out there just because the high school game is slower you know I played now and then I went back uh, to south to practice and I was like I'm faster than the guards here like it's it's weird but yeah, I just feel like it's a lot of just taking in everything. You know, people out there, their basketball cues are higher than yours, and their speed, strength is more than yours. So I feel like you're just taking in a lot, of, like, at one moment. Well, like, when you're doing that now, like, when you guys are having an open gym and there's a recruit there, do you, like, do you take it easy on them because you want them to like being there? Do you go hard at them to see what they have? How do you, how do you balance that? You definitely want to see what they have because, you know, at the end of the day, that might be your teammate. You don't want to... Uh, take it easy on him and just let him slide through it. Because, you know, if he comes here, he's going to think it's going to be a breeze. And then you don't know what he's been working on. Do you guys, like, talk about that before? Like, all right, hey, let's go see what the new guy's got? <laughs> no, nah, we just see We just see he's uh, the coaches tell us he's working out with us. And then we just go as hard as we would if he wasn't there. What about your Twitter handle? Where, did, where does that come from? Oh, Steel Madison? Yeah. That's my alter ego. That's a, that's a, that's, that's. That's classified information. <laughs> That's what, okay. Does it have anything to do with your then your your avatar, your photo on there? Uh, nah, 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 nah. Okay. That's just it's just on an alter ego. Me and my friends have it. I got another friend called uh, Chad. His name his real name is Anthony, and then a kid named Hudson Seawater. His real name is Seth. <laughs> so, is this, so this has been for a long time then? Something yeah, that... it's been it's been there for about about a year, two years now. Do you ever consider changing it so people can find you on Twitter easier? No, I'm not changing. <laughs>